Hey folks, <laughs> I'm laughing my head off here. Oh, my head's gonna stay on in Jesus' name. But uh, the president's on talking this stuff about this pandemic, and I just started to laugh out loud. <laughs> Woo! At calamity thou shalt laugh, the Lord said. Let me do it again. Woo! Hey, laugh at the devil. This stupid devil, it's coming out that this thing was planned, you know. Very planned, very diabolical. It's like, you know, but everybody's getting scared, you know. I know it's it's a hard thing to face, but don't get scared. Laugh. You have the victory. And I want to prophesy again. The end is not yet. Don't worry, I'm not in my studio and I'm not all rigged up and wired up and all that. But I'm just coming straight ahead here. I hope the sound is okay. And here's the voice of the president over here talking all this, you know. I just started, I'm hearing his voice, I'm listening, I just started to laugh. And people are going, social distance! <laughs> social distance! With the accent. And uh, lockdown, you know. Oh, yeah, I hear these guys talking in the, the language. Here. Ay, yeah, yeah, I just started to laugh. Ha, 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 just laugh at the devil, that's what the Lord does. There's a bunch of scriptures, one of my assistants wrote... Uh, Precious, I said, write some prayer, write some uh, uh, t text on some uh, declarations and some scriptures and the, a bunch of places where God laughed, you know. Listen, the end is going to come, folks, but <laughs> just laugh. Hallelujah, we have the victory. I want to tell you what Jesus said in Matthew 24. He said, the end is not. You'll see signs, you know, and it's happening. It might have been an earthquake in the Caribbean. The other day, there's earthquakes going, tremors in America now. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> uh, okay, the president's finished. Back to the blah, blah, blah music. I don't understand that music, but it makes you move a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, uh, hey, you got to stay excited. You have to stay happy. Look at this beam of light coming across me here from this beautiful sunshine. The sun is out. I heard these three words. Let me tell you. I heard these three words. Survive, alive, and thrive. Yeah, I heard those three words. Someone asked me, how you doing? Everybody's asking me, how you doing? I'm getting calls from all over the world. Uh, yes, I am, uh, David. David, I wish you were online. I'm getting other messages from the messenger and the WhatsApp and all that. People call me from all over the world. Dr. Mike Murdoch uh, prayed with me. And, uh, wow, and his sister, Deborah, the brilliant uh, publisher of all his books, wrote me personal messages and said she's praying. And um, a great man of God was on the phone praying all night the other night. And, you know, and uh, feeling great, you know. But, um, hey... We have the victory, folks. And the Lord just spoke to me. The Lord just spoke to me a few minutes ago. You know, it's funny when you when you encounter something and then you got to get like transparent and tell people your you know what's going on, and it's kind of funny. So, <laughs> so the Lord spoke to me. Said, "You shall live, my son. You shall live. You shall live. Yeah, we're gonna live and not die and declare the glory of God. We have a season left. We have a season left." Don't you love this light right here? Ooh, I can play around. We have a season left, folks. We have a season left. We have a season left. We have a season left to do it. Maybe we have 20 years, you know. Some people are kind of old. They think they're going to live 20 years. Well, if you didn't, you'll be with Jesus in glory. You know, the end of this is better than the beginning. You know, the end is always better than the beginning. You know, at, at the end... No complaints. We're going to be in glory. I don't want to say anything negative about... I'm not going to say anything out of my mouth negative about this. the effects of this pandemic epidemic. I'm not going to say it right now. That's not where I'm at. In my in my mind and my spirit, you know. People are doing programs about it. I could recommend a lot on that. But, you know, the Lord's given us a window. He's going to give us time. So we have time. This is the time, the Lord spoke to me, this is the time of revival, 
a time of tremendous awakening, uh, uh, a new dispensation of glory, a new outpouring of God's favor, and a wealth transfer. You know, supernaturally, supernaturally, wealth transfer. I mean, like God's just going to favor his people, his own elect, because, you know, you have projects. You have things to do. You need money. You don't need to be broke. Come on. I feel the anointing so strong here. Woo, hallelujah. Ha, 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 the devil. He's trying to do all this, but hey, we're going to have lots of money. We're going to have wealth and treasure. Let me prophesy to you. Woo, hallelujah. So, supernaturally, God's going to see us through. Amen. Uh, he that began a good work in us is going to perform it. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the soon coming king. Well, soon, but how soon, you know? So I, I wrote something. I said, we see these signs, and but the end is not yet. I, I'm very encouraged by that. There was an emphasis for the Holy Spirit gave us on that. Uh, Matthew 24, he said, you'll see these signs, but the end is not yet. There's still another time frame that we have to be here and to do everything that God wants us to do. The promises he gave. No, we're not going to end it early. It's not going to end early. No way, devil. Ain't happening. And I pray for every person that's afraid right now, that's sick right now, that's going through things. Another evangelist uh, just came, wrote a thing that he tested positive for this thing. I pray for him and his family. Uh, one of my friends died last a week ago or so in America. An evangelist. He he was didn't I don't know if he was healthy enough or what. You know, it's really sad. I don't know if his immune system was okay or he just didn't you know see his way through it. And he's in heaven now. But uh, hey, you know, you, you we're not. And anyway, I don't want to I don't want to focus on it. So you say is this thing real? And he came to a in a dream. Listen to this one. An a, a man of God, friend of mine in America. Uh, pastor, but he doesn't have he doesn't have a church right now. But he's a he's an interesting, gifted man. Uh, he has anointing in different areas. Pastor, but without you know a physical church, but and all that, he's doing some other kingdom things. But he said our friend came to him in a dream and said, "Wake up, get up, get up, get up, and move." And he said a problem that he had in his foot in the morning was healed, and it just the, the bones and everything shifted. He had a bad accident in another country, and and it just shifted. And he, he had no more pain since. And then while we're on the phone praying the other night, I was praying the whole night. Dr. Mike Murdoch and Dr. Deborah was writing me and his sister, Dr. Deborah Murdoch, and other uh, men and women of God, uh, uh, great pastors from some of my churches in America. I mean, senior, senior men, senior anointed apostles, powerful. And uh, praying and, 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 and love poured out to me from the whole world but he said he said his foot began to heal and then I had a vision while we're praying I said I saw you losing a lot of weight on the treadmill running doing the thing on your feet without pain and I saw this vision of profuse sweat coming from your head you know you know when you're working out and you get to the point where your your cardio gets to the point where you, it's going fast you know and then you uh, start to sweat profusely and I said, I saw that thing going, and I saw you, you getting in shape. This is the word of the Lord to a lot of people. We need to get in better physical shape. We need to get in better physical shape for the task ahead. And I, I just want to prophesy, uh, you know, say it all prophetically. doesn't matter what's going on. doesn't matter what tries to attack. doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Ha, 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 ha. We have the victory in Jesus' holy name. Glory to God. We have the victory. You feel it? You feel it? Man, I feel the presence of God. Father, thank you for the touch of heaven, Holy Spirit. I just got some more good news a, a few minutes ago here, having a little meeting. And uh, answer the prayers made me get excited even more. God is going to manifest himself. I mean really good news. I mean really good news. Uh, anyway, you may be able to figure that out. If you think about it or let your mind wander about what good news is. I mean, good news, you know, good news. You know. Good, 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 good. Big, big, big. 
So, the Lord is, uh, is on our side. What he promised us has to happen. There's no like cash in the chips. What do they say? Kick the bucket. Fly up. Fly. The cow flew over the moon. <laughs> the blue moon. What's what's all the sayings, you know? Check out. <laughs> Finish the race. Give up the whatever. <laughs> oh, that's nonsense. You should never do it. You should never do it. Let me prophesy to some kingdom people. Your job is never to retire. You're not going to plan to leave. God may give you a glimpse of the time when you get to that point. Many, many years and decades from now, if the Lord doesn't appear in the clouds first and come to take us. Take us out of here in the rapture, which we're going to go up first. Let, let me tell you something else. I'm not going to be around for no Armageddon. I hope the sound is clear. You know, I'm a stickler for sound. I hate these... Uh, broadcast where the sound is not clear so I'm kind of raising my voice a little bit so it's like right into the thing I, I don't like uh, all this all this noise you know psh, you know and then people come on and it's supposed to be a great uh, thing and they you can't even hear what they're saying because the echo so bad and all that it is technology to sort that but I I'm gonna help myself before I help you watch me do it and then you you know follow me as I follow Christ okay I'm not gonna give away all my secrets take time to help your sorry self because you don't know how to figure it out you didn't ask anybody for help we're gonna have by the way i prophesy soon in a few minutes we're gonna have the best studio the best technology the best background drops views everything equipment cameras broadcasting facilities ways to get it to the whole world because god has put his hand on my head and my life and he's put his voice in my heart and he wants me to speak prophetically for him for this generation and we're going to do it in Jesus name I said we're going to do it in Jesus name so share this victory broadcast right here send this to a friend right now uh, let people see that we have the victory over all this stuff and you that are feeling a bit bored and scared and tossed and turned about by this quarantine lockdown issues and all that just take time to be in the presence of God. What you wanted to catch up on that you couldn't do when you were at the office every day in your regimented rigmarole schedule, take time to read those books. Listen to those messages, man. Get into messages of faith. Catch up on some of my broadcasts that I've done and some of the teachings I've done. Oh, I want to make a whole catalog so easily available. We'll make another web uh, uh, edition for that that people can just get the thing. I also want to take a lot of hot clips out of the messages because, you know, I can preach, you know. I can preach forever and ever. Take some clips and, uh, you know, anyway, I'm going to come back to you in this with a part two in Jesus' name. Blessings.